Hello, this is Memo Rojas, and these are the ELMS questions. Well, 2021 was a very challenging season. I think it's uh, one of the most competitive uh, seasons I've had in ELMS. As you know, I, I've been in ELMS since uh, 2016. Um, I've managed to, to win two championships, and, um, and I've been witness of the level of competition, how it's, it has increased the last few years. And 21 was was a really tough one. Uh, we managed to finish uh, fifth in the drivers' championship, and uh, I think it was we did a really good job, especially because we had a DNF uh, at the end of the of the year, and with consistency we we managed to beat uh, really strong teams. But now we need to focus on performance, and I think uh, we can be really strong in in 22. Well. Very excited uh, always uh, to have new teammates. Uh, I know Richard, um, you know, from ELMS, we've uh, raced against each other for the last few years. And I know how talented he is. I know how, how good of a driver he is. And uh, Richard, which is one of the up and coming great uh, youngsters uh, with a lot of future. Uh, I always enjoy, enjoy working with young drivers because uh, there's a lot of experience in, in my career that I, I enjoy uh, giving to, to my teammates. I've managed to win the championship with a rookie, with a, with a really young and talented driver like uh, Leo Roussel in, in 2017 and also with uh, Paul Lafargue in, in 2019. So I hope uh, I can share a lot of my experience with Richard uh, with, uh, and also Richard, who is very experienced as well, and fight for the championship. That is the goal. So excited as always to, to work with, with my new teammates. Well, uh, you know, LMP2 class is getting stronger and stronger every year. Um, who can win the championship? Who's going to be strong? Everybody. I mean, the level of competition is quite strong. I can see teams like United and WRT, uh, G Drive, um, uh, Inter Europol. Um, I mean, there's so many teams that will be fighting. IDEC, of course. Um, so I think there's probably eight, eight teams that, ten teams that can be fighting for the championship. So Panis as well. So um, it will be a tough one. Um, my goal is to fight for the championship. Uh, I decided uh, and, and I'm excited to stay with Duquesne in 2022 because um, I always fi have found my best performances with teams have been staying consistent with the same level, uh, with the same people, same engineering teams, ideally same drivers, although this year I have new teammates. And uh, I work with Duquesne a lot in the winter to to understand what we need to do to take it to the next level, and the team is working amazingly to to make this happen. So, so I think uh, you know we we can challenge uh, all the top teams, and 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 you know if we finish fifth in the championship this year, hopefully we can finish a few steps better. Uh, I love ELMS tracks, you know, uh, they're all challenging. They're some of the best tracks in the world. Um, I used to enjoy a lot Silverstone, although we haven't raced there since the pandemic. So I would say uh, Spa. Spa is one of the my favorite tracks. I know it's uh, one of every driver's favorite tracks, so maybe it's a cliche, but there's a reason why all drivers love it. I love the elevation changes. I love the challenging corners like uh, Radion or Rouge, um, etc. And uh, and can't wait to get back there this year.